thinking about angles and radians can take a little bit to get used to. Um, what you want to keep in mind is that all the way around a circle is 2 pi. Since pi is a little more than 3.14, all the way around is a little more than 6.28. So here we have an angle of pi 6, and they want to know which quadrant it lies in. Well, in other words, they want to know where does its, um, where is its terminal ray, what quadrant, in, in which quadrant does the terminal ray lie in. Okay, so um, all the way around is 2 pi, so halfway around would be pi, so half of that would be pi halves, and we have even less than that, right? We have a third of that at pi 6. So we would say that its terminal ray lies in quadrant 1. Um, minus pi fifths, since it's minus, we know that we're turning backwards. Backwards a half a turn would be minus pi, backwards a quarter of a turn would be minus pi halves, and we have even less than that, right? We've got just a fifth of a half turn, so somewhere around here, right, is where minus pi fifths would lie, and uh, that's in quadrant four. Here's another angle. Notice there's no degree symbol, so we have to assume that that's in radians. So 8.4, let's think about where 8.4 would be. Halfway around would be pi, that's about 3.14. All the way around would be 2 pi, that's about 6.28. Let's see, and now if we make another quarter turn, that's a half of a pi. Since pi is 3.14, that would be about 1.57. 6.28 plus 1.57, um, just to give us a rough idea. I know this isn't completely accurate, but 7.85. So 7.85 radians is to wrap all the way around once plus an extra quarter turn. Okay, and our angle's 8.4, which is gonna be just a little bit beyond that. So we can tell that the terminal ray of an angle of 8.4 radians lies in quadrant 2.